this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to a new update. This is 16W36A, the fifth snapshot for Minecraft 1.11. So if you missed any of the recent update videos and you want to check those out, please click the playlist link down at the top of the description. So there is another big controversial change on the way that I want to get into. It's going to affect a lot of servers and players out there. So before we do that, very quickly, let's cover what's different this week. It's pretty much a bug fix snapshot. It's going to solve a lot of issues, though, like lingering potions losing their effect when you throw them in survival mode, lava buckets were being eaten up when you smelt with the lava inside, a lot of minecarts with passengers, if you updated your game version, it would just kind of make the passengers disappear. So that was affecting people with villagers for trading and things like that. A lot of issues with particles not using the correct foliage color when you sprint on blocks like leaves and things like that. And then clock and compass animations were just going crazy and were messed up. A lot of textures were mirrored, resource packs failing to load, block models being messed up, and some server crashes. So lots of good stuff, but nothing too exciting. Remember, we aren't getting any of the big 1.11 features until Minecon in a few weeks. But there is a big change that is going to be in the next snapshot. So lead developer Jeb tweeted out, for 1.11, there's a new game rule called Max Entity Cramming, with the default set to 24. That is, 25 plus entities at the same spot will suffocate. And since this affects grinders, chicken machines, elytra launchers, and so on, it will be included in the next snapshot. So this is going to affect not just people who make these types of things, but also anyone who plays on a server where people can build these types of things. The, the goal with this is to alleviate a lot of lag on worlds that have mob farms, especially those that go out of control. If you have a ton of entities spawning and uh, hanging out in one area, it can affect the whole server. Even big servers with, you know, a lot of power behind them can be crippled by these things. So it seems like it is going to be a good change in general. Now, it's supposed to only affect mobs and players, Jeb mentioned in a reply to somebody asking him about it. Now, it might affect boats because he does say elytra launchers, but there's other ways to make an elytra launcher without stacking tons of boats and stuff. Now, if you set this max value, this cramming value to zero, then it'll just disable it so you don't have to worry about it. You can play as you always have. If you do have mob farms on a single player world, it could help make your game run a little smoother. And I think that a lot of people have kind of said in reaction to this that maybe the limit needs to be raised a little bit for it because 24 entities in one block, that is a lot for one little spot, but it does seem like it could be raised a little bit without sacrificing too much, you know, lag or anything. Like it, it probably wouldn't affect performance that much to have a few more entities in there. And you can even mess with the values. It would be interesting to uh, set that value really low, like one, and then you walk into a block with a sheep or something and you just suffocate. That would be pretty crazy. So be careful if you're gonna mess with this in the next snapshot. It's probably not gonna affect people who have auto grinders to get the items. It might actually help you kill the mobs faster to get that stuff, but players who need their EXP farms might have to adjust them a bit because you're gonna have to obviously kill those mobs by hand if you're gonna get the experience and everything. And one thing that is very curious about this tweet that Jeb put out, he says, it is going, since it's going to affect all these things, it will be included in the next snapshot. Now, this makes me believe that there is a bigger chance than I previously thought that 1.11 might be out maybe during or shortly thereafter Minecon. I already had a, a feeling about this that we might see it already in a few weeks, despite only having a few snapshots. Pretty similar to 1.10's abrupt release. I feel like this is not going to be a huge update, but we haven't seen any of the main features, so we're going to have a lot of surprises come Minecon. But at the same time, the way he said that, it makes it seem like he's he's saying, hey, we need to kind of test this stuff in a snapshot because we're planning on, you know, not having much time to test this stuff later is the, uh, the impression that I'm getting. So who knows? We should know pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Quick update this week, but, you know, we got to cover these because there are some important things in every little snapshot. Even if it's just a bug fix, it's gonna affect some players out there. So I wanna let you guys know, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. If you wanna subscribe, we'll have more Minecraft updates in the future, of course. And you can talk to me on Twitter, at Swimmingbird941. If I don't catch your comment, I'll see you guys next time, though, for another Minecraft snapshot update. Goodbye.